Hi, I'm Adam Moore. I'm a student at the University of uh, South Alabama, and uh, my project is BullPi. It is an educational tool for students in digital logic classes. So um, we found that digital logic students often had problems uh, learning Boolean algebra and the way it works. Uh, there are studies that have shown this as well. So we thought it would be nice to have a tool that shows the simplification of a Boolean algebra expression step by step according to the theorems in our textbook. Uh, so that's what we did. Uh, so basically, uh, the implementation is pretty straightforward. We have a high-level representation of Boolean algebra expressions in classes, so ands, ors, and symbols. Um, and the first eight theorems, which are just how two uh, Boolean variables can interact, and zeros and ones, uh, are done by operator overloading. So we overload the add, rad, mul, and rmul uh, methods for these objects. Um, we also overloaded new, uh, which is an idea taken from SymPy, which is already a really good uh, module for uh, symbolic mathematics. And basically this allows us to more intelligently create new objects once the simplification has happened. So you wouldn't want to have an OR object with just one operand. That wouldn't make any sense. So uh, the general simplification uh, is just what the textbook recommends that students try to do is to get the, uh, the expression in sum of products form and then factor out the, uh, the greatest common factors and from there the, the expression should get simpler. So that's exactly how this works. Uh, Python takes care of all the operator precedents for us because we, we overload the uh, multiplication and addition operators. Uh, so we wanted the output to look like this to show the theorems each time. Uh, and that's what we were able to achieve uh, right now. Uh, it's a console application, so the output's pretty ugly at this point. It's kind of hard to follow. So um, before I came to PyCon, I had the idea that I was going to make my own graphical user interface for the program. But then I saw the IPython notebook, and it's completely awesome. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually add these classes to SymPy, which already is based on a lot of the techniques that I used. and uh, students will use SymPy in the IPython notebook to uh, actually get these results much prettier and in a, a form they can work with. Uh, and if you look at IPython notebook, it'll make more sense. Uh, so beyond that, we're going to do a lot of testing to make sure everything actually works uh, the way it's supposed to. Um, and we'll ask the students how they feel about the output uh, to see if it's useful to them. So far, they found it to be pretty useful. Uh, they've, they've used their homework uh, problems in there to make sure it works. And uh, so far, we've had good results. It will, it, it's not right now, but once I add it to SymPy, you know, obviously SymPy is on, I think, uh, Google code. Uh, but right now, it hasn't been on there. This is basically just a prototype to make sure that I can actually do it. Uh, so I'll actually implement it in SymPy. Thank you. Thanks.